At first, it looks like your usual old-timey portrait. Vibrant colors, fancy clothes, and the lady looking all calm and collected. But wait, there's a twist. This fly was intentionally painted onto the portrait. Before we get started, if you like discovering eccentric art secrets, hit that like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. But why put a fly in a fancy portrait? It's not just for kicks or a random doodle. That little bug might mean more than it seems. A secret code, a sly message, or maybe the artist's way of saying, gotcha. Here's where it gets even more intriguing. We know zilch about the artist, so maybe the fly was their secret tag, a way to thumb their nose at the art world, or maybe a deep statement about life and art. The artist being Mr. or Mrs. Anonymous also makes things more mysterious. So now you might be thinking, if we don't know the artist's name, we should at least know the woman's name, right? Well, no. The woman was also not mentioned. But what we do know is that she's clearly a hofer. How do we know? The inscription at the top of the painting, Giborn Hoferin, translates to Born a Hofer. But that also doesn't help much. The name Hofer was as common as Smith in southern Germany back then. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, except the haystack is also made of needles. Since people say you should never ask for a woman's age, we will guess it. This woman has this calm, wise vibe, suggesting she's seen a few things in her life. Her face is the kind you'd trust to give you solid advice or keep a secret. So, not a spring chicken, but not exactly ancient, either. Her face is smooth, like she's young, but her eyes and mouth look like she's older. Like she's not a kid anymore. So, somewhere comfortably in the middle, perhaps. Working with what we know... The painting was created circa 1470 by an enigmatic Swabian artist and reflects the region's affluence. It depicts a woman from the prosperous Hofer family, distinguished by her opulent attire and accessories. Let's talk fashion. This lady knew how to dress. Her dress is the epitome of 4070s chic. Gold clasps, white fur and all. It's like she walked straight out of a medieval fashion magazine. The gold clasps aren't just for show. They're the bling of the outfit, shining like little beacons of wealth and status. They're practical, sure, but they also scream, look at me, I'm fancy. And now into a key pixel. Her dress cuffs are a cool little detail. These cuffs, while not the main thing, fit the style back then. In those days, Germans' women's clothes were all about the details, with fancy extras like embroidery or fur. You can bet the Hofer lady's cuffs were just as fancy. Although the portrait isn't exactly screaming, look at my rings. Let's bet the Hofer lady has a few. Back then, these rings would have been more than just accessories. They would have been statements, a subtle nod to her status and wealth, a silent yet eloquent testament to her place in society. Stepping back, you've got this green silk-like wallpaper with flower patterns all over it. It's like the wallpaper is playing a sneaky game of hide-and-seek, whispering, Hey, look closer. I'm not what I seem. This silk-like wallpaper isn't just here to look pretty, though. It's got a job. The wallpaper is like her sidekick, making sure everyone's eyes are on her. The artist is kind of like a magician here, turning something plain into something fancy. It's like they're saying, Who needs real silk when I can make wallpaper look this good? Now, here's a detail to that. Once seen, cannot be unseen. And that is the white headdress that works like a drama queen of headgear. It's got these stiff, angular folds that could probably pick up satellite signals. The artists showed off their shading and texture skills, making every detail pop. Those meticulously pinned stitches? They're practically screaming for attention. It's so lifelike that a fly might mistake it for a good landing spot. Or at least that's the artist's sneaky intention. This isn't just any headdress. It's a fashion icon in its own right, with folds that defy gravity. The artist's obsession with details is so intense, you could get lost counting the pins. And the shadows? They give it a 3D vibe that was cool way before 3D glasses became a thing. It's like the artist was both a fold fanatic and a time traveler. Finally, we get to the main attraction of the painting, the fly. 
Although it seems like it's just a random bug, it's the artist's way of saying, I can make you believe a fly is real. And oh, by the way, remember, you're mortal. Going back to the lady, she is holding forget-me-nots. These aren't just any flowers. They're like the emojis of old times for remember me. Maybe for love. Maybe just don't forget I existed. Could be she's engaged. Could be something more somber. Put it all together and what do you get? A painting that's part, wow, look at my skills. Part, let's go deep about life and death. And a tiny bit, is that really a fly? Art's funny like that. More than a mere portrait, this artwork intertwines fashion, symbolism, and profound reflections on life and death. The artist's finesse breathes life into both the noblewoman and the minute elements, like the lifelike fly. Though the woman's true identity remains unknown, the painting immortalizes her, transcending time. It's a testament to the skillful artistry, rich detail, and the power of imagery in conveying deep, philosophical concepts. As we close this exploration of the portrait of a woman of the Hofer family, I have a question for you. What do you think the mysterious woman's story might be? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this dive into the world of art and symbolism, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more.